And let's now turn attention to the aviation sector where flight activities are ongoing at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, but passenger turnout is low at both the D and B terminals as passengers arrived in trickles at the airport. This follows the decision by airline operators of Nigeria to suspend this decision to withdraw services across all airports in the country. The AON president, Abdul Munaf Sarina, had announced in a statement jointly signed by six members of the association that the decision is pending the outcome of its discussion with the government. The statement noted that it's, this move is in the interest of the national economy and security considerations. It also states that a suspension will allow for a fresh round of dialogue with government in the hope of reaching an amicable solution. Earlier, the Ministry of Aviation had assured Nigerians that members of AON were reviewing their decision to withdraw services on Monday. Aviation analyst Olumide Ohwayo joins me now to discuss this. Good to have you join us. He joins me in the studio. Good to have you join us. So um, when this um, decision was reached uh, some time ago you know, to suspend <coughs> to suspend flights, um, those who had booked their flights, of course, were, were we already, some, some, most of them were at the airport. And um, w we saw a bit of what played out at the airport, I think, over the weekend. But let me get your thoughts on this issue, especially because it is um, a re a regards of the fuel price for, um, for the, the, the airlines themselves. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, the, uh, the flights have not been cancelled. Uh, they usually give the anticipation of cancelling flights mm -hmm. and uh, stopping all the operations. And what happened today, what's, what's happened at the airport today in uh, Abuja, uh, as I've uh, just alighted in the news, is that the, the, t the time to stop the, the when they lifted the, the, the strike notice that they were not going to strike again, was late in the evening last mm. night and most people already assumed that was going to go on. Mm -hmm. Then okay, and again, we see how the strike from the unions who were, were in the three of the three of the agencies who, who had promised to go ahead with the strike and those was to call off their, their strike mm -hmm. late in the night so by then passengers might have turned off them shifted their traveling plans and those who didn't have anything who was in the most important had to just say okay i can at least stay and wait for the end of this and that's why you saw that trick, uh, the trickling of passengers at the airport today um everybody loses when you when you bring out this strike when you tr issue threats and then uh, <coughs> give a condition of uh, this not being smooth and i think uh, there's a need to address this efficient fuel issue once and for all it is not about the government alone uh, the airlines themselves have the role to play in ensuring that uh, they get fair price in, uh, in the but, but there, are, there are those who um i think there was someone who spoke yesterday about being what have been stranded at the airport or something but some people say they were, uh, they were yes. stranded at yes. the airport. Yes, yeah, yeah, so and we're stranded at the yes, airport. Yes, we're yes, at the yeah. airport. Because of and, for a lack, lack of vision for all. There were those who, uh, who have said, look, the way it was handled by the airlines themselves were probably yeah. not in the interest of the passengers. But some say, look, um, this is an ongoing issue. And I just want to ask you if you think that, that this move um, is justified, especially when you look at the fact that there is an ongoing crisis in Ukraine and Russia, not just in Nigeria. It doesn't just affect us alone. It's all around the world where few prices have now gone up. Well, I think for the, for the airline operators, it's justified because uh, they met like, about, uh, about four weeks ago with the Ministry of Communication, with the regulators there, the House Committee on Navigation, and they agreed that there's that disparity within the landing cost mm. and the amount being sold at, outlet, at, 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 at the outlets. And based on that, we're looking at an average of 500 naira per liter. But then be because the landing cost is about 400 and... Uh, 460 or 70 or something. So we're looking at about 500 as, as an average price. But, so, but, but instead of reverting, getting to that 500, it kept moving to 600. And now it was when it moved towards 700 that it said, no, we will not stand this. And, and, and this, this they cannot sustain with the present ticket fare. And they know that the passengers has dropped when they increase to 50,000. So how would they now go back again and say they want to increase fare to about the 100,000, which, which, is, which is what they think will be sustainable with the new price, between the 100 and the 150,000 naira per trip. And that is where they, that, that's where they have to call the, take, they take the shocks off the, off the tires and say, no, we will not, we will not go, go ahead with that flight operation. But, but how we do you address this? It. Because this is a business, um, people, everyone goes into business for profit. Exactly. And so uh, and the airline operators are expecting to also make profit. Exactly. And then there is also the issue of safety. Uh, you mentioned that that meeting they had with um, um, even the members of the, yeah. of the House Committee. Yeah. And uh, they, kept, they kept repeating the issue of safety. Yeah. Um, how much of a concern is that? And if that is a concern, 
How should this issue be addressed? Well, you see, we're, we're, we, we're, East Lift is always flagged to get more attention through that uh, red flag and uh, make everybody wake up to it. But you see, you, nobody wants to run at a loss. So rather than run at a loss, why would it, why would you not do something that make you compromise the safety? So if I cannot operate profitably, I can well stop operation. That's what they've mm -hmm. done there. No, and they don't want to. They don't want to push it into into the safety threshold. But it's, well, if we cannot get it at this price, we will, we will stop. For now, I don't think they, they are moved into safety. They are only trying to warn that if if we are going to run at a loss, rather than compromise safety, rather than compromise standard, we rather pull the shocks and not operate. And that's what they, they, they've done. But Nigeria should have no fear about safety. The airlines are safe. The regulator is doing its job, and they've met all the necessary certification, uh, which makes them uh, 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 eligible to fly their aircraft mm -hmm. and, uh, and their crew. How should government step in in terms of price? One, and there is also the issue. Because I know they also mentioned during that meeting they mentioned the issue of forex. Um, so yeah. how how should government come into come to address this issue or help them address this issue? Well, there's a need for us to have a refinery refining the aviation fuel in Nigeria. This long overdue. We can't. We are almost fifty years. We have the crude oil. Why should we keep exporting and bringing it in? It's because they are important. That's why we're having this problem. There's a need for that. Again, there's a need for the regulator in the oil industry, the mm. upstream and industrial and whatever stream they have, to, to be able to curb the excesses of the marketers within that. There's, 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 there's a cabal that they find it very difficult to break. Mm. Because if, you, if, you, if we all sat somewhere together in the last six weeks, you said you were going to the, 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 the cost between the landing, the landing cost, and the cost of the outlet, is too, is, is, the gap is too wide and must be reduced to about 500. Another. That period was too wide. Did you sanction anybody for having that power, that laxity to do such a thing? Why have you not been able to push it back to 500? That the markets are so powerful and cannot be touched? So that's why this is the, 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 that's, that's the idea that looking at, at the government. How do the, the regulators in the whole industry should be able to handle the marketers? Mm. And that's, that's, that's the idea. Then, right. and for the forex, you said, they are not, the, the airlines are not saying, give us a special forex fee. They are not saying, well, if, if the official rate is mm. 400 and something, let us have a special window. Provide this for us, for, right. us, for us to run our businesses too. All right. Um, I wish you'd gone, but my time is up. Thank you so much for um, talking to us. We'll continue Thank to monitor um, all that is playing out on this issue. Thank you, Evasion Analyst Olumide Omayo. Thank you for having me.